morning and thank you for allowing me to join you and to share some words of truth from Scripture with you today as we begin a new day. This new day offers a preview of the coming great day of the kingdom of God such that we can say as we would read in Psalm 118, 24, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now in Luke's gospel in chapter two, verse 40 and verse 52, it says of the child Jesus that the child continued to grow and become strong, increasing in wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. <clears throat> and Jesus kept increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. What is described in these verses sounds like the normal growth process of any individual. And this description makes a rather important statement about the human Jesus. If he were one and the same as the Creator Father, he would certainly have already possessed it all and would not have needed to have grown as he did. But the key thing here to notice is growth. For children, growth in height is often measured with marks on a wall or marks on a doorway. For adults, weight growth is rather reluctantly measured in pounds on the bathroom scale. Intellectual and professional growth is measured by degrees, awards, and achievements. A key life priority is balanced growth in essentials. As with anyone, Jesus' growth in vital areas did not just happen, it resulted from deliberate effort. He no doubt was diligent in important disciplines. We are given just a brief glimpse of this in the only childhood incident recorded of him, where as, 12, as a 12 year old, Jesus, it says, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions, Luke 2, 46. So we see that Jesus proactively focused on intellectual and spiritual growth at a young age through listening and through questioning. The key point is well made that any form of growth requires concentrated effort. Physical growth requires proper nutrition, exercise, and hard work. Growth in wisdom requires deliberate application of knowledge. Favor with men requires careful cultivation of relationships and social graces. We read that in response to Jesus' commitment to growth in key areas that it says that the grace of God was upon him. A commitment to balanced growth coupled with God's grace resulted in even more productive growth in Jesus' life in that, as it says, Jesus kept increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. So the example of Jesus challenges us to intentional growth. We never outgrow the need to be students, ever accumulating knowledge and applying knowledge so as to gain wisdom. A commitment to grow spiritually allows us to increase in favor with God. And social growth allows us to grow in favor with other people. It is interesting that the qualifications of church elders and church deacons and deaconesses, as we see in particular in 1 Timothy chapter 3, and of course also in other passages, it largely revolves around these key areas of growth, which again are characteristic of Jesus. For his example, leadership is much more about who we are than it is about what it, what it is that we do. Hebrews 10, 24 challenges us to consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds. <clears throat> Perhaps one very practical way that we can do this is to ask one another questions about our growth. We might ask such questions as, what new things are you learning from your Bible study time? What are you being taught through prayer? What books are you reading? How are you doing in your relationships with others? These questions can stimulate growth that increases our favor with God and with man. 
I trust that these thoughts today have helped you in some way in your growth process. Indeed, if so, it has truly been worth our time. Let's close this time in prayer this morning. Father God, thank you. Thank you so much for these moments that we have to share together with one another and with you in your presence. And we're thankful in particular today as we think of the example of Jesus as a young child and his growth process in the various ways that we've seen described in scripture. We know that it certainly makes quite a statement concerning the human Jesus that uh, like all of us, he grew in some important areas, but we think of his example and we desire to follow his example that we too would grow in all these areas and thus experiencing even more of your grace upon us. As we've noted, Father, those things don't just happen. So give us wisdom and give us determination and help us to partner together with one another that we grow in all the ways that we ought so as to better serve and glorify you. I thank you, Father, for each person who takes time to share in these morning moments. <clears throat> that is a huge blessing in terms of my growth, and I trust in each one's growth as we partner together in this process, in this growth that leads us ultimately to Christ-likeness when we see him on that day when he returns and initiates and inaugurates the kingdom of God upon earth. Oh, how we long for that time. But we seek to grow as we persevere until that day. And so again, ever guide us in this process. May we ever productively be growing again to glorify you, to be able to be of greater service to you. And we thank you again for the fact that you've given us this opportunity. We thank you again for these moments this morning. Father, we are blessed and we trust that we are able to be a blessing as we go about our day's activities. Use us that we might help others along the way, helping them to know Christ if they've never met him, helping those who have come to know Christ to grow more productively in him. So use us in every way along these lines. Again, we thank you for these moments. In the great name of Jesus, we pray and ask these things, amen. I thank you once again for the privilege of your time this morning. Uh, it has again been a great encouragement to me and I trust it's been an encouragement and a blessing to you. I look forward to sharing with you in a future time, but I pray until that time, may God guide and guard you and watch over you. And I look forward to sharing together again until that time so long and may God richly bless. Mm -hmm.